Okay, in this example, we've got this rather, you know, long formula here. M equals uh, R divided by 1200 multiplied by 1 plus R over 1200 raised to the power of N divided by 1 plus R over 1200 raised to the power of N minus 1 multiplied by P. They give you some context. This, uh, this has to do with um, a loan payment formula. The important part says which of the following gives, the question is which of the following gives P in terms of M, R, and N. So again, what that means is it says we want P isolated. We want some equation that says P equals something, which is, you know, so there's the answer choices, as you can see. They've got P all by itself. So the only thing to me that seems really daunting in this problem is, you know, this is kind of a long formula. When you first look at it, you know, maybe your eyes kind of glaze over and you say, oh, I don't know. So let me show you, though, that this really isn't very bad at all. So to simply solve for p, okay, so I'm going to rewrite the original expression. Okay, so we've got m there on the left. I'm going to give myself a little space um, before. So here's the original expression. There's our multiplied by p. So we've got r over 1200 multiplied by 1 plus r over 1200 raised to the power of n. We've got 1 plus r over 1200 raised to the power of n minus 1. And I could stick that in brackets. It doesn't change its value. So there's the original expression that I have right there. Well, all I want to do is just multiply so that I can get rid of some of this stuff. Well, I've got a r over 1200 in the numerator. If I put one in the denominator, when I multiply, I would be able to cancel, cancel. The same thing, to get rid of this 1 plus r over 1200 raised to the power of n, I would need a 1 plus r over 1200 raised to the power of n. And to get rid of the denominator, I would need 1 plus r over 1200 raised to the power of n minus 1. And notice now everything on the right side is going to cancel except for p. The, the numerator and denominator would cancel. And again, now I've gotten rid of each of these factors that were originally in the numerator as well. Well, again, if I do it on the right, I've got to do it on the left. So there's 1 plus r over 1,200 raised to the power of n minus 1. And then r over 1,200 multiplied by 1 plus r over 1,200 raised to the power of n. And again, you can think about this as being m over 1 if you want to. Again, everything's going to cancel out on the right side except for p. So there's our p equals. And again, there's nothing really to do on the left. You just, you know, I think the answer choice had it just written like this. So I'm just going to rewrite it one more time. It's the exact same thing that we just had. raised to the power of n, and then they had the m sticking off to the side, and again, that just means you're multiplying by m over 1. So that's it. So I believe that was answer choice b would be the correct answer. So again, to make a long story short, all that you have to do for this one is you just take, you know, this original, okay, so forget about the p for a second, take this original fraction, and you just multiply uh, by the flip of it on the left, and that gives you your solution.